The closest thing to an RS feeling EV is Renault's, doesn't roll off the tongue, Megane E-Tech Electric. With many EVs, you'll get in and notice the extra weight from the batteries. Not so in this Megane. It is easily the most fun I've had in an EV, based purely on how enjoyable they've made it to drive. The steering is accurate, it's precise, and it sits so well on the road, plus the car doesn't feel overly heavy. So far, manufacturers have been busying themselves with the practicalities of designing and building EVs. Now it seems they've had time to add more of the fun elements which could make a car so very enjoyable to live with. Entry-level Megane E-Tech Electrics will be offered with either a 40 kWh battery for up to 300 km of range or the 60 kWh model which should get around 470 km of range. The tech pack comes with Google's infotainment system and level 2 autonomous tech which takes care of the steering and braking on the motorway or in stop-start traffic. The driving modes come in the form of Eco, Comfort, Sport and Individual. You can adjust the level of brake regeneration via the paddles and brake feel is decent. You don't get full one pedal driving, the driver needs to use the brake pedal to come to a complete stop. This all new Megane is light on its feet. Put your foot down and the increase in acceleration is immediately obvious. After you've depleted your battery, topping up using a 130 kilowatt charger gives a 10 to 80% battery top up in around 30 minutes for the 60 kilowatt per hour Megane. A full charge from a 7 kilowatt home wall box will take about 9 hours or 7 hours for the smaller battery. It's not as fast as the Tesla Model 3 can charge, but they use the brilliant Tesla supercharger network and not many have managed to catch up with that, which is the best part of Tesla. The Megane E-Tech Electric was awarded 5 stars out of 5 for safety and every version gets plenty of safety tech including lane keeping assist, blind spot monitoring, rear automatic emergency braking and a system that warns you if you open the door into the path of a moving object like scooters, bikes or cars. Rear visibility isn't great due to the large rear pillars and tiny rear windows so this will come in handy. Luckily, front and rear parking sensors and a rear view camera are standard with the Techno trim, while top spec launch edition adds a 360 degree camera and automatic parking as standard. It's about the same size as Volkswagen's ID3, Kia Z Nero, Nissan's Leaf and Tesla's Model 3. The seats and steering wheel have a decent amount of adjustability as well as lumbar support which is included as standard on the higher trim versions. It's very smartly finished on the inside and filled with lots of soft touch materials, all of which are recycled. There are some hard plastics but they're low down where the trim gets bashed about the most. The dashboard itself is relatively sparse, consisting of little more than two screens and some physical switches for the climate control. The screens are still finicky to use while on the move though. They do however use Android's automotive OS and integrated Google services including Google Maps and Google Assistant. All models of the Megane E-Tech Electric come with Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone mirroring. There's decent visibility out the front, but the shallow rear window is restricted. There is however a rear view mirror option to have another digital screen feed a wide angle view from a rear mounted camera. The space between the seat base and the top of the door opening is reduced due to the battery placement in the floor, so when you're getting into the back or loading a youngster into their child seat, it makes things that little bit tighter.
There is a flat floor, however, which makes things a little bit more comfortable for rear seat passengers. In the boot, there's around 440 litres of space, which is more than the ID3, and it's deep, although that deep floor does create a high sill. While it may be built on the same platform as the Aria, the Megane E-Tech Electric is more fun to drive, even though it's only front-wheel drive. The 0 to 100 km per hour of 7.5 seconds feels quicker in sport mode and does just fine in comfort too. It's a confidence-inspiring evolution for Renault and one that makes us very much excited to see what they've conjured up for the new Renault 5 Electric.